Hey everybody, my name is Kademo. Welcome back for another video of NHL 9, the Dynasty mode. I almost said it wrong again, guys. Alright, so we're playing the, uh, with the tra uh, Trashers, Atlanta Trashers, that is. Uh, as you can see right here, while I was doing my videos and everything, I modified the roster moves, obviously. I did all the edit lines, uh, the lines myself. And basically, by putting back Miroslav Shatan into the um free not free agency but the um what's it called the trading block actually got claimed so i guess we're not gonna have miroslav shatan anymore on our team but that's okay uh we've got a solid team here so hoping that we're gonna be able to have an actual good year so here's my lineups the way i did it is i'm not gonna play the best overall i'm gonna uh like in the lineups and everything i'm gonna play the ones that have the most uh in the offensive wise the most uh offensive awareness look at the Vries. he's a big time player prospect with 93 um offensive awareness already he's only what is he he's 22 years of age so he's gonna be a big time help for us if he can produce a lot so i'm gonna try that out that way I went the same way for defense. Defense, I went with the offense. I want to have a lot of offense, guys. And we've got Ken Dryden and Letanen up in here. And we've got also my uh, special uh, special units and everything that are already uh, done for. So I already upgraded them. So we're good. So two, four, I believe, six, eight, and ten. All the way up to the first of... November or October, I believe. No, we are already on October, so 1st of November. So we won our first game. We lost our second one. Uh, here's hoping that uh, oh, Entropov is injured. Where's Entropov at? I don't know. I think he's in the minors. Let's just assist this coach to replace him. So, yeah. Here's hoping that we're going to have a good year, a great year, and a great playoff, guys, this time around. I'm really hoping... It's our fifth year already. It, uh, sometime you got to do something. So we could probably claim this guy 29 years of age. But he's not going to grow. Offensive awareness and defensive awareness is terrible. So we don't want him. Entropov is back. So yes, we're definitely going to do just uh, the best lines for the, the miners and everything. Let's go, guys. It was one of our prospects as well, I think, uh, Entropov. So let's see this guy. Oh, boy. Uh, defensive awareness is good. The offensive awareness is just plain terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, no. I'm good. I'm good on you, buddy. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, go see uh, if I'm there somewhere else. Let's go. Uh, Patrick Davis. My God, that's a lot of uh, waivers. What the hell? Let's wait on that. We're not going to claim him. I don't think we really need him. Like, we could use one right now for the miners. Help out our miner team even more. But I don't think I really want to do that. Now, we are, as you can see in the season, of Mark Hendricks. That's a, pros a big-time prospect right there, actually. That's a goaltender as well. All right, let's see what it gives up. Four goals per game. He was in the NHL, though. So, 76 overall. Hmm. It's a big time prospect. I mean, we're gonna uh, we're gonna claim him, just because I know for a fact. Let's go into goaltenders really quick. I know for a fact that this guy is a good prospect. He's B potential. He's our second better prospect right now, even better the, than Dwyer. So here we go, guys. Uh, we're not gonna play him because uh, we got two play goaltenders already who are better overall than him, but. Still good. So as you can see, we're giving a lot, a lot of goals, uh, almost pretty much three to four goals per game. But we are scoring more than that, and that should be the same in the playoffs. But what happens is in the playoffs. Okay, so Stefan Kromval. Okay, the other Kromval, the one that uh, was forgotten by everyone. Uh, this guy is actually pretty good. We upgraded our miners right there just with uh, that one guy. So. Our, our simulation is over after 10 their 10 first games we are 8 1 and 1 so that's really good we uh, the only reason why we're gonna 
have difficult time or we have always difficult time in the playoffs is because we score less we're not scoring as much we're giving the same amount of goals we're just not scoring as much so Dryden is not that good uh, he's giving up three to four goals per game I would uh, imagine the defense is not helping him out that a bit uh, too much either but still let me just see what his stats are really quick so Dryden Oh, actually, no, he's really good. Never mind, he's really good. He's having the best se uh, season of his career so far. M less than three goals per game, 92 saving percentage. Okay, all right. Uh, that's really good. What about you? He didn't play yet. So, uh, Lettonen did not play yet. Uh, Dryden is doing really good. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do the infamous... Um, just put Lettonen up in here. Just for this one game, just so we can, uh, we know exactly what we are, uh, what we can uh, do. Just so we can play basically the backup goaltender for uh, eight games at least or something. Uh, Macmillan, all right. Um, they want a straight up trade. Macmillan for Hendrix. Uh, I don't know about Macmillan. Macmillan, what is he? Is he another prospect? Yeah, he is. But I don't know. No, he's not having a good season, so... Well, 12, 12 points in 12 games, but I mean, he's not having like uh, minus three now. I'm not sure if I like that or not. So I'm going to keep the goaltender instead. Definitely going to keep the goaltender. And now we can switch back. We can switch back to uh, Dryden now. Let me see uh, what kind of game. Yeah, he gave up two goals only. So a, great, a good game for um, Lieutenant as well. So here we go. Two, four. 6, 8, and a 10, all the way up to the Vancouver Canucks game. We're going to try to do, like, always an entire season um, in one video. We're going to try, at least. Uh, I can't guarantee anything. Matt D'Agostini. All right, so we could pick him up. Let me see real quick. 75 overall, minus 1. And, uh, well, uh, of course, we can't look at the playoffs. So he's minus 1. Um... Yeah, he's not. He's playing in the NHL as well, so that's probably why. But Varakas. Uh, okay, so in the NHL minus one. I'm looking. He's more of a AHL player, so he's plus seven in the AHL. He's plus five in the playoffs as well. Oh uh, yeah, sure we could get him. But uh, do we have space or not for him? Yeah, let's make let's make up the space. We just do that pretty quick. All right, let's see what we got. So, Varaka. So, 75s. That's what we're looking for here, all right? Upgrades. And uh, pretty much anything for uh, offensive-wise. Okay, so we're looking for the 75s for the defensemen. Not less than that. Let's go. We're not getting too much losses, so that's good. We're getting a lot of wins. We're playing really good. There's 5 to 4 wins right there. 2-1, to one, that's, one, uh, that's what I like to see. Uh, the less goals you, my goalies uh, put, the better I, I basically am. So, Willie Mitchell, actually an 84 overall, got uh, in the waivers. That's interesting. He, um, his offensive awareness is basically garbage. He's a defenseman, though, 88 overall for... Uh, 88 for the defensive awareness. He's not having, he's not having a good year, minus 5. And uh, last year he had a minus three for the playoffs, so I don't know, guys. He's a defenseman. I don't think we need him. Um, to be honest, he's not that good. So Tyler Plant, uh, another goaltender. We don't need goaltenders. We don't need goaltenders. I should have probably took Willie Mitchell, but the thing is, the stats are not that good. All right, they're not really promising. So. I was kind of scared right there. All right, so after f 20 games, a little bit more losses this time around, but still at 14-5-1. Uh, we are not the best of our Eastern Conference, though. Montreal is. Uh, we're two points behind them at the fourth position, tied up with New Jersey. M Ari Morens, like always, is the best player of the league. Sergei Kostitsin at third position. That's interesting. You so always see some interesting thing every year. All right, so... Let me see what we got in the stats central wise. We're just going to quickly look at things. 
Uh, I'm going to put ob just obviously um, Litton and Up in here for this game. Okay. And uh, let's go see the stats now after 20 games. Team stats first. See where we are. It just sorts things out. So goals uh, per game. We are 19th position goals per game. So we got to upgrade this. We're not actually scoring uh, as much as we would need to. Um, we, so let me just see. We're definitely scoring more goals than we're giving. Uh, giving but um, we need to score more because 19 position where we need to be in the top 15. 19 is not good enough. We need to score more goals and somehow I don't know how to do that to be honest. My uh, my units are good as it is. Uh, let me just see. Goals against per game. So we are the best team. Best team for goals against. So that's good. Best defensive team. We're not the best offensively though. Uh, power play. Let me just see real quick. Uh, 14th. So power play is just fine. Pe oh, hang on. Penalty kill, 13. So penalty kill is just fine as well. All right, all right. So I'm, I sh I'm gonna say we need to upgrade our offense. So we need to upgrade. That could be in the coaching, the strategies. So offense, we need to. Uh, there we go. Offense. So offensive pressure. Uh, overload is fine for all of them. I'm gonna say standard, aggressive. A defense will take some uh, chances. No, players are cautious about then ca uh, getting caught the ice. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we just need more offense. We're just gonna go aggressive a little bit. Try to go aggressive, see if it works out or not, and we'll see, guys. And we need to go look at uh, the stats for our players as well. Let's just go look at that. All right, 20 games. Our best scorer is Eric Stahl, 11 goals. Uh, same thing for Kovalchuk, 11 goals. De Vries, our young prospect, 10 goals in 20 games. This is going to be a big time player, guys. I'm telling you right now. 20, k 20 points for Eric Stahl. We've got 18. All right, so Kovalchuk is not doing that good in the second line, but he's doing all right. Uh, more should be he's doing as be as good as uh, Kovalchuk. He should be doing better, but all right. Uh, De Vries is really doing is doing really good. Doing really good. Pranger is doing awesome. Uh, goaltender wise, let me just look at our goaltenders. So goaltenders obviously uh, Lettonen played only once, and we've got. Um, Dryden up in here played basically all the games, so he gave up so far. Uh, how many goals does it say? Here we go. Three goals per game. The ninety-one saving percentage is a really good season for him. So here's hoping that he's going to continue that route. Yes, let's go. Let's continue. Two, four, six. Oh, hang on. That's just uh, before we do that because that's lit on in the net for this game particularly. That's his second game. He actually loses this uh, second game and uh, gives up uh, three goals. That's okay. That's okay, lit on in. Uh, Dryden, you're going in back in there. So two, four, six, eight, and ten, all the way up to the uh, Carolina Hurricanes game. All right, let's continue the simulation here. There's a couple wins I want to see, uh, obviously. So Patrick Kane. Straight up for Kerry Litanen. Are they crazy or something? Holy. Chicago wants to give us Patrick Kane 92 overall. For Litanen? Okay, buddy. We don't have a, a goaltender that's uh, ready for the backup position, though. But that's okay. That's not too terrible because Litanen... Uh, Dryden is going to play all, most of the games anyways. 99 overall in the offensive awareness. Defensive awareness should be better. But look at this. He's actually pretty good in both uh, areas. Um, okay. Do you need a goaltender? That's my thinking here. Oh, they do. They do need a, f uh, a starting goaltender. They are looking for a starting goaltender. That's why they uh, they went for me there. Uh, I mean, Joggerson could play as starting uh, as backup yeah it could be our backup i'm feeling it 
I'm definitely feeling it. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Make that trade happen, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. Oh my goodness. We just made a huge trade. We just had added Patrick Kane to the mix. Uh, we're going to have to switch things out. Uh, Bobby Ryan, since he's a lower overall than Patrick, uh, Peter Sikura, we're going to have to put him. Um, it's a one-way deal, though. I don't want to lose him. We're going to have to put uh, someone in the uh, waivers. And uh, let me see really quick the rest. We just need to... Oh, yeah, no, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, we're going to need to look at the uh, goaltenders really quick. Jagerson for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's continue, guys. I'm good. Let's continue the simulation. Now that we've got Patrick Kane in the first line. Uh, really interesting to see how our team is going to play. Are we going to score even more goals? Like we should be because we have an even better team. Uh, I'm going to uh, keep Armstrong since he's the weaker stats wise, like the way he plays and everything in the seasons and playoffs. I'm going to keep him um, as our backup w w wherever we're going to have a, an injury or something, which didn't happen yet in this season. I don't want to jinx us, but so, so far we did not get an injury. So after 30 games played, we get a record of 29-1, and one, which is uh, good, really good. We are still fourth position because the other teams are playing really well somehow. That's, uh, it's crazy when you think about it. They're playing that well. All right, uh, Moran still with the most points, 64 points. Good lord, Moran's. I sh imagine if we had him on our team, Moran's would be crazy. All right, so Jagerson, it's your time now, your time to shine. So far, really good for uh, Dryden. He's doing a really good job. He's having a great season. Jagerson's gonna be our his first, uh, not his first game of the his career, but his second game of his career. Officially, it might be his first one because maybe I think he replaced, uh, basically did a, did a replacement on the other one. So let's see how he's gonna do. He gets a win. Here we go. First game of, uh, first official game of his career in the NHL, and Jagerson gets himself a win. Um, really good for him. Happy for him. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. There we go. All the way up to the Arizona, uh, Carolina Hurricanes once again. We win. 8 to 4 C. We want to. It's okay if we give up goals as long as we uh, score a lot, of, a lot of goals as well. 6, 8 goals, 5 goals per game minimum. All right. Um, as long as we score those amount of goals, we're good. We're looking good, guys. So let's go. Uh, 4 to 3. That's not too good. There we go. I don't know if we lost our last one. Hopefully, we win and won it. We're going up, as you can see, in the uh, conference. But now we're starting to lose. That's not good. Mike Brown, 76 overall. Could be interesting. He's terrible, though. Overall, he's not playing good. So, we don't want him. Bertuzzi. Todd Bertuzzi. Um, he's actually playing pretty good in the NHL, AHL as well. He's more of an AHL player for us. So, look at the AHL stats. He's really good. So we're just going to go ahead and get him, do, just do that, and uh, we're going to put him right here, Todd Bertuzzi, here we go, and here we go guys, we're doing good. Now we did, uh, we are getting a couple of losses here, we have at least three losses in a row, which is not good, we're treading down at fifth position now, which, not good, come on guys, what are you doing to three? Three losses in a row here, and four losses in three games, uh, in, fi in five games, so... Uh, not good. 25, 13, and 2 after 40 games. Let's go look at our stats really quick. Um, we're obviously going to play Jaggerson up in here. It's probably not the fault of... Um, or it's probably not uh, Dryden's fault, but... Because he's having a great year. So it's probably just somebody else. So we moved up. 12th position definitely aggressive um the aggressive strategy is working out for us so we're moving up trending up so that's good and power uh, penal uh goals against per game we are still first we're giving even less goals so that's good 
Uh, let me just see real quick right here. Power play. We are 16th position, so we need to upgrade our power play really quick. Um, we got the, I got the best players in there, so what I need to do is just uh, modify the strategy, maybe. Uh, power play we needs to upgrade, be upgraded. Penalty kill. <clears throat> penalty kill needs to be big time upgraded. Big penalty kill is uh, is training down big time. So penalty kill is what's killing us right now. All right, I see where we, where we are then. Stats wise, let's see really quick. 22 uh, goals. Our best scorer is Patrick Kane. Uh, right behind is Kovalchuk at 20 goals. We got we got Patrick Kane with 46 points in 38 games. Really good. Um, 42 points for uh, Eric Stahl. Uh, 39 points. So Kovalchuk is doing awesome. He's doing awesome for sure. Um, let me see really quick. Okay, so Kovalchuk is going fine. Um, Dickie Moore is doing fine as well. He's doing a great job. Yeah, most of everyone is doing a great job. So I'm happy with what we got. Uh, we've got the uh, goalie wise. Let's see what we got. So Jaggerson and one game played, obviously. Um, so three goals per game. Still pretty good and still, yeah, still awesome. 91 overall, 91 saving percentage. Really happy. So it's definitely not the goaltender. It's just the... What's hurting us, it seems like it's the, um, what's it called, the strategies. So, penalty kill, the offensively, power play. We need to upgrade the power play a little bit and upgrade the penalty kill big time. So, penalty kill, uh, passive box is not working out for us. We're going to try um, diamond, great uh, for covering umbrella power play. We're going to try large box, see if it works out. Um, offensively, we're doing, we just need to do shooting. Uh, so instead of shooting, we're going to do umbrella, maybe, or overload. Let's try out overload for uh, the power play, see if it's going to work out for us. So let's continue. Two, four, six, past the uh, All-Stars game, eight and 10 all the way up to the Boston Bruins game after it's going to be 50 games at that point let's see if it's going to help us out now it does would it be better for the power play and the penalty kill I hope so both needed to be upgraded but power play not so much but uh, still a little bit penalty kill when it really needed to be upgraded big time though so Fernando Pisani do you want him let me see really quick uh, a player for the NHL for sure. So NHL stats terrible. He's not. Uh, he's not good in the NHL. So don't want him. Definitely do not want him. Let's continue. I don't know if he uh, won the last game or not. Glenn Murray, a really old player right there. Um, he's not good. Uh, we gotta look at the AHL stats. It's actually pretty decent AHL. I don't know. Uh, do we want him? Let's uh, give him a chance, I guess, in the minors. No, we're not going to sign him. Uh, Marco Strom, though. Marco Strom could be good for us. Definitely, yeah. yeah he's really good. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's pick him up. Let, let's pick him up. We got a new player on our team. So, Marco Strom. Um, I just want to make sure that he is on our team. So... He's going to play in the minors because we don't have space for him. Is that it? Uh. Uh, De Vries. Yeah. All right. So De Vries is really good for us. I don't want to endure De Vries's, uh I don't want to endure De Vries's, uh, stats in a uh, season. So I don't know. We should probably play him. I mean, look at the points he's putting right now. Uh, Marco Strom this year. We should definitely play him. He's doing having a great season. Jonathan Quick. Let's see what we got. Uh, I don't want him. I don't need him right now. It's uh, one of our former goaltenders as well. Where we actually traded him. So I don't I don't want to get him back. We don't have too many goaltenders. We're good, guys. We're doing way good. Uh, today is the All-Star game. Nope. I'm good. Let's uh pass this uh, All-Star game. I might actually... Oh, Roman Armor Lick. 82 overall. Actually could be pretty good. 
Um, do we need one? Do we need a defenseman? He's actually, yeah. Yeah, he's, the, yeah, he's great. He's great. He's a great defenseman. Great defenseman. We're gonna pick him up. Pick him up, guys, and uh, see where it leads us. So, instead of McKay, there we go. Instead of McKay, it's gonna be Amerlik as a uh, as our guy. Uh, I'm probably sure he probably will play. End up playing instead of Kubina or so. Kubina is 83 overall, 81. 80, 80, 94, so 90, 83, 94, that's a 71, so instead of Velabic, uh, Amerlik is going to play for sure, yeah, Aber, uh, Amerlik is going to play instead of Velabic, Enyan, stop the simulation right now, stop the simulation, I don't want Kerry Ramo, I don't want Talaxon, I'm good, oh god damn it, stop the simulation, come on, what are you doing, Scott Walker? Yeah, yeah, wh whatever. I don't want these players. All right, let's just start the simulation right away. I want to do the... Um, I pressed the wrong things er earlier. I want to put instead of Valabic. It's going to be Amerlik. So Valabic, where are you at? Just scratch him. And we're going to go ahead right away and put uh, Amerlik in here. He's a better defenseman. He's uh, 81 overall, so that's good. Much better defenseman. We should be good. Uh, is all right. So we need a goal, a defenseman. It seems like. Yeah, we're gonna need a defenseman here. Um, I don't know. Is Amarlik any good defensively? Yeah, he's good. So he's definitely just gonna simply replace Valabic in this position. Let's go. Let's continue right now. Let's see what we got. Do we? Are we at? Uh, 40 games played. I don't think we are. Georges Larac, I'm not interested. Callus Eider. Let me just see real quick. 30. That's 44. Not that. Um, let me just see real quick the team stats. 47. Okay, no. So we need three more games. Three more games. That's one, two, three. There we go. That's the game right there we need to stop at. Looks like Marcus Strom is going to be his chance to replace. Um, Mike Richards, so Marco Strong get in there. Korpikowski, I don't want him. Yeah, I don't. Left winger, is he good? No, he's not good. So Korpikowski, we're going to pass on him. Pass on Modic as well. All right, let's continue. I just I just want to simulate. Stop with the waivers thing. Wait, there's so many waivers during the, in, uh, during the initial. It's ridiculous. Kozlov could have picked him up again, but no. We don't want him back. Jose Theodor, guys. All right. He's with the uh, the Carolina Hurricanes. 80 overall, though, at this point in time. Starting to drop off big time. Could be a really good uh, asset for us. But uh, we already have our goaltender, our backup goaltender. We're good. We're good for everyone. We're going to have to stop asking me uh, if I want a someone in the waivers, though. There's a prospect, though, goaltender, but I won't. Nope. I'm good. All right. We're stopping here. There we go. 50 uh, after 50 games, guys. We got 30 win 32 wins, 15 losses, three uh, other losses in overtime or shootout. We're not losing a lot in the shootout and overtime. We should be losing a little bit more in those because it will give us a lot of the points. We're losing a lot in uh, regulation, but that's okay. Um, Nash, Rick Nash is the best player right now of the league. We passed up uh, on Morens with 87 points. All right, so interesting. We got, um, I don't want to look at the stats. I just want to make sure that uh, our goaltender is the one playing. So Juggerson will be playing here. Tell me that does not ha just happen. It did, it did just happen. So I probably forgot to put Juggerson. Um, yeah, okay, so Juggerson played a lot there. I'm gonna play Dryden then. I forgot to put uh, Juggerson back as the backup. He was playing as the starter right there. That's not good at all, guys. Played a lot of games right there, but he, he did the job. I mean, he played for us. He did the job. So Dryden's going to play a little bit more now. Two, four, six. Oh, hang on. Before we do, because I just lost the count. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. There we go. All the way up to the Car uh, the Coyotes game. See what we got. Roosevelt not interested. Not interested at all. 
See if we get a win. No, we got a loss right there. I know for sure. Craig Moore, not interested. All right, I'm not interested in these players anymore. There's just there's too many pop-ups there. There's too many waivers. The hell. Uh, Chris Porter, that's a no-face situation. Not interested. All right, let's just continue right here. I want, I just want uh, a simulation right here. Quick simulation. Jeff Alper, no thank you. Let's continue where we are. Okay, Mike Richards is finally back because remember Marcus Strom was injured and everything. Uh, not Marcus Strom was replacing him since he was injured. Here we go. Thank you, Marcus Strom, for uh, the time. That was our first injury right there with um, uh, Richards. Now that he's back, hopefully we don't ha we're not gonna have any more injuries or something. A uh, glass, nope. Got uh, a couple losses in a row here, which uh, I'm not a fan of. Definitely got to switch things up. There we go. There's a win right there. Come on, uh, Dryden. I know you haven't played in a, in a long time. Uh, that was my bad. That was my mistake. It's your time to uh, to shine again, yeah, everybody. Let's go. Pavek, no. We're good. We're good. All right. So after 60 games played, 37, 20, and 3. Let's uh, see what we are at. 97 points for Rick Nash. Still the best player of the league. We've got, uh, we're third position in the Eastern Conference with 77 points. Let's see where we are in terms of stats. We upgrade our stats. We were 16 and 24 in terms of uh, par uh, games for and games against per game. So 16, all right. Goals, uh, goals for per game all the way at 10th, uh, eighth position. Definitely upgraded our offense. Defense, we are third position. Third position. So actually, it's not the offensive defense. Uh, what am I talking about? It's power play and penalty kill. We need to upgrade. So we're doing really good. Penalty kill went uh, went down a little. Uh, uh, goals against went down a little bit actually. Um, power play. Uh, it it did go up. I I did see that. So ninth position. Power play did upgrade a lot. That's good. Penalty kill. Uh, went down even more. We're actually the second worst team in penalty kill. So. Really not working out for us right now. What we need to do then is switch strategies. Since we now we know that large box and passive box are not working, it's gonna be have to be diamond. It's the only other one that would work for us. Stats wise, after 60 games played, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look at that really quick. We got Cobalt Chuck with the most goals at 35 goals, 32 goals for Patrick Kane. So these two are really good scorers. We've got um, Kovalchuk 69 points, nice, in 60 games. So Kovalchuk is starting to uh, go up now, starting to uh, get his things back together, like always. Like, this is the guy, this is our franchise guy right there. One hell of a guy. Uh, Patrick Kane, 68 points in six, uh, 58 uh, games. We've got um, Eric Stahl, like always, doing good. Iginla is doing great as well. Iginla is more of an assistman, as you can see. As I can see right there, he's definitely an assistman. Um, Eric Stahl, definitely as well. He's um, Eric Stahl is more of an assistman as well. So both of these guys are assistmen. Uh, they, they have scores in each part, so they are good. And Dickie Moore is more of an assistman as well. And he's doing good. He's doing good because of that. That's good. Uh, Fosberg, 50 points. Good for him. 50 points for Pronger already. Good lord. Pronger is having great seasons, guys. Pronger is OP in this game. Um, Marcus Strom is having a, a great season. He's played a little bit with us. Boomister. All right. All this. All good. Actually, you know what? Robinson is one that's actually struggling right now, though. 34 points only. That's kind of uh, a surprise because he's the guy that play uh, puts normally 70 points per season. He's uh, struggling quite a lot here. He hasn't have uh, the best uh, best time here. That's uh, very interesting to say the least. Uh, goaltender wise, you just see really quick. So uh, three goals per game still. He went down on saving percentage, so he's having a little bit of a tougher time here in the last 10 games. Juggerson is doing great. Uh, as a backup, he's doing great. So, 
a little bit more difficult time for Dryden, but I feel like he, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. Okay, so what I'm gonna end up doing here is I want to save up. Uh, I want to end the video, but uh, we're almost done with the season. That's the thing. Damn, that's the problem. Really, we're almost done with the season. I don't want to. Uh, let's end the season off, guys. Let's end it. Let's end it. Two, four, six. Oh, oh shit! I almost two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. All right, that's going to be seventy games there. Just have a quick simulation right here to pass by. Mikhail Rosval, uh, Rosival, we don't want him. We're almost at the trade deadline. There's the trade deadline, as you can see right there. I'm gonna stop uh, claiming a bunch of players. Uh, okay, so Armstrong, definitely someone wants them. The Rangers want him. And they want to give us uh, one of uh, a defenseman or something. I just, the defenseman is terrible. Kalanen is not good. I don't want a terrible defenseman in exchange. Give me something, my guy. Now you're good. That's a terrible trade right there. I am not going to do that trade for sure. A trade deadline's coming up. Let's just continue. We don't need to make any trades. Uh, Armstrong, you're going to be stuck in the minors. That's fine by me. All right. Let's go. Nobody wanted you in the waivers anyway. So that tells you uh, how much uh, they expect out of this guy. So a second draft pick, round draft pick for German. A 30 years of age guy? What do you think I... What do you take me for? Do you really think I need that type of guy right now? This is ridiculous. The, the AI really thinks I'm going to do those trades, guys. This is uh, something else for sure. Alright, let's continue. Let's go. We got uh, a couple wins here. So definitely a better... Yeah. We're doing way better now. The way it is. Zagrapan looks like a young guy. Well, kind of. He's a uh, AHL guy, he's doing pretty good AHL wise, but uh, nope, I'm good. I'm gonna be good. Uh, Brewer, Bre let's see really quick. AHL guy, we don't have any stats for him, so not picking him up. Let's go. Let's continue. I think we're. Uh, this is it. You all right? Yeah, this is it. 70 games played, 44 uh, wins, 23 and three. All right. Uh, 11, 111 points for Rick Nash as the best player. He's probably going to finish first at this point in time. We're second. A tied, a second in the Eastern, but tied up with uh, Pittsburgh at uh, 91 points. Let me just see real quick. We just got to switch the goalies. So I'm going to switch Juggerson for this one game. I actually want to see uh, really quick Dryden. He's uh, moved up to a 97 overall, which means he had a really great year in order to have to move up like that. 35 wins, better than last year for sure. Uh, really doing great. He's having a great, uh, great time right here. Yeah, he's the best career, the best season of his career for sure. That's good. That's really good. And Juggerson had a good time. Now is your time to have uh, probably your last game of the season, my boy. So let's continue up. Let's go uh, one game right, right here. He, he won this game, so that's his ninth uh, uh, nice win of the season. Cone, um, AHL guy, so let me see AHL. He's doing all right. Uh, yeah, he's doing all right in the AHL. We're going to pick him up. Pick him up in the AHL and uh, play him right there. All right. We're good. Let's continue the simulation. Gonna assimilate the last 10 games or the last 12 games actually, guys. You just make sure that it is Dryden in the net instead. So four, six, eight. Well, basically all the games. There we go. Simulate the last games completely. See what we got, guys. Here we go. Uh Rick Graton. Uh goaltender. Goaltenders, I'm not it's automatic, I'm not going for them. This guy, AHL guy, uh, nope, terrible. He's not good. Not picking, him, uh, not picking him up, guys. I don't know how it works, really. We have a bunch of waivers in the playoffs, uh, coming up to the playoffs. So this guy is uh, terrible. Not a good player for the AHL and the uh, NHL. So not picking him up. 
We're having a good simulation at the end there, but Ken Dryden gets injured all the way up until the 14th of April. Oh, shit. That's not good at all. Hopefully, he's going to be back quick. Um, 14th of April. I'm not sure when that is, guys, but uh, that is not good for us at all. That is really not good. All right, let's just, um, I guess, what we need to do is put Joggerson as our starting goaltender, guys. He's going to play all the games, the remaining games here of the season. One thing's for sure, uh, I think Dryden is out for the rest of the season. So that's not good. I think, I hope that he's going to be back for the playoffs because he had a really good season. Oh, he is. He's going to be back even for uh, a couple of games here. So it's, uh, so it was expected to be uh, longer than this, but he actually came back uh, earlier than I thought. So that's, uh, that's really good for us. Uh, Dryer did get claimed by another team. So unfortunately for us, we just did lose uh, Dwyer, uh, Dwyer, which was a really good prospect goaltender, but that's okay. Um, sustain multiple injuries in your lineup main old oh, okay hold on now who's injured all right so oh okay both of our um, both of our guys okay so what I'm gonna have to do here Marcus Strom you're gonna play here he's uh, 82 overall so just gonna play uh, like that yeah definitely and over here we're gonna put our uh, defenseman Valabic up in here now we gotta switch things out so I guess we're gonna put Marco Strom in here for the time being and the uh, same thing for uh, Valabic so let me just book these two guys here here we go we're good uh, we don't want uh, actually AHL no we don't have any stats for AHL for this guy we're not picking him up so we're good for the the, the season uh, hopefully these two are gonna be back Soon, the defenseman that got injured is not too much of a problem. It's uh, Mike Richards, I believe, though, or whoever got injured again at center position. That's a big time uh, problem right there, though. So we did a, a finish up on the winning streak, which is different from the last seasons. Pre uh, the last uh, couple seasons, we actually finished up with losing streaks. Now it's winning streaks. So that makes a difference, guys, definitely. Uh, probably gonna end up uh, finishing as the best team of the Eastern Conference, which is really good. Uh, Moran's probably gonna finish off finally as the best player of the league, like always. That's interesting. Let's continue here. Uh, hopefully, our player is gonna be back for the playoffs. I hope so. Who are we fi we're facing up against uh, in the fir first round? Philadelphia Flyers. Once again, guys, always facing them off. All right then, so I that's interesting. What about um, injury reports? Do we have those? Here we go. Let me just see. Oh, it's Fosberg. That's right. Fosberg uh, is injured until 12th of May. Okay, it could be now to 21th of May. That's April right there. That, they're gonna miss their first round for sure. These two are gonna miss their first round. That's uh, that's rough. That's pretty rough, guys. Okay then, well, hopefully Mark and Storm is going to do the job. We're not going to look at the stats. We're going to look at the stats in the next video for the players and everything. I'm going to see you all for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, guys.